Hello there, this is Ayman Al Ghazali with SQLPro.com, and here I am today with a quick SQL snack on how to take a transaction log tail log backup and restore a database that has crashed. So, first, I'm going to create my database, and all of this code will be provided in the description if you follow the original blog post. I've put a link there. I'm going to create this simple database, verify that it's here. There it is, tail log test. And I'm going to create a test table. And I'm going to insert two rows with very useful data, one and two. And then I'm going to run a full backup. And I'm going to insert rows three and four. So I've inserted two rows, I've run a full backup, now I'm inserting two more rows. So the full backup will have the first two rows, and now I'm going to run a transaction log backup, which will have rows three and four, and then I'm going to add rows five and six, which have not been backed up yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pretend like I have a crash on my server, well, not really. I'm going to take a little bit of a less dangerous approach. I'm going to set my database to be offline. And then I'm going to delete the data file, tail log test. Are you sure you want to delete this file? Yes. And then I'm going to set the database back to online. And I'm going to get this crazy looking message here. If I click refresh, you can see that my tail log test database now is under the status of recovery pending. So before I do anything, I need to run this command, which is, you know, obviously use the master database. I have to back up the log <coughs> with this with no truncate option so that I can get the tail log or the you know the active transaction log which had these two transactions. So I'm going to run this, and I'm going to verify in my backup folder here that I have three files. I have my full backup, I have my first transaction log backup, and now I have my tail log backup, which I took when the database had a problem. So I lost the data file, but I was still able to make a backup of the active tail, or active por portion of the tail of the transaction log. So I'm going to actually restore um, my database to a new database, just to kind of play it safe, make sure um, that I've got all my data, and restore it as tail log test 2, and refresh. So what I've done now is I have restored the full backup, and now uh, as you can see, I, I selected the option no recovery because I don't want to recover yet. I want to add my transaction log backup. And then finally, and that's also with no recovery, so I can still see that my database here is restoring. And finally, I want to add my tail of the transaction log backup, the one that I took after the database crashed and I will not include the option with no recovery because I want the database to recover. So I'll do a refresh. My database is in a great state. I'm going to do a select here, and as I can see, all of my rows of data are here, even the ones that were not backed up in a transaction log backup. So the takeaway from this video is, you know, obviously the importance of doing backups I could not have recovered my database without the full backup that I took. Um, and you know, second of all, if there's an issue and you can run a transaction log backup for the tail of the log before you start looking at any recovery options, that might be a great idea. In my case, I only added two rows and then simulated a crash. But in your case, you may have, you know, a couple thousand rows, uh, maybe you know, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour worth of data. And that's going to be important for your client or your boss or whoever, <clears throat> you know, you're, you're trying to please at your work. 
or, or just for the sake of, of being a great DBA. So it's very important to uh, practice this so that when the time comes to do it in the real world, you will be ready. And again, these, you know, this snippet of code is available. Just follow the, the link for the original blog post in the description below. Thank you for attending, and I hope you had a juicy sequel snack. Have a good one.